Lee Phillips, yeah, I'm a lawyer. Don't hold that against me. Still don't hold that against me. But I want to talk for a second about people come to me all the time and they say, I want to put my house into an LLC because somebody's told them that they should put the real estate into an LLC. It'll protect the real estate. And they say, well, if it's good for my rental real estate, it must be good for my personal residence, my house. And the answer is probably no, kind of definitely no. You don't put your personal residence into a company, an LLC, a corporation, a limited partnership, or anything else. One, an LLC is, excuse me, one, a personal residence is a tax shelter. If you put it into the LLC, it's no longer your personal residence. It's a piece of property owned by a company. So you lose all of the tax shelter. You get to deduct the interest. You uh, can sell a house. And, and if you've lived in it uh, three out of the last five years, you get the, the half a million dollars for a couple tax free, blah, 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 blah. So the residence, the personal residence has tax advantages. If it goes into a company or into an entity, now this is not a living revocable trust, okay? But the LLC, the corporation, or whatever it is, if it goes into one of those entities, then you lose the personal residence aspect of it. Another thing is, when you move it into the entity, you are losing the homestead exemptions. Because homestead exemptions, they're state dependent, it depends on which state you're living in, all states have some sort of a homestead type legislation, but some of them are basically worthless. You get the first $12,000 or something. Uh, if you're in Florida or Texas, you can have your whole homestead, your whole personal residence, and your creditors can't touch it. That's not a bad deal. You're going to pay more for your mortgage in those states because even the mortgage companies can't get to it easily. So look at the homestead exemptions, what your state allows for a homestead, and just understand that if you put your personal residence into a company, an entity, it's not your personal residence anymore, and you lose the homestead exemption. Even in many states, when you put it into a living revocable trust, there's a provision in the trust or there is uh, something you have to file with the state to make certain that you still claim that homestead exemption, even though it's in the living revocable trust. Another reason that you would not want to put your personal residence into a LLC or a, a corporation or whatever it is, is because the mortgage will, that, that will be a transfer of that asset. It could well trigger the due on sale clause if you've got a mortgage. If you're trying to get the house into the LLC when you're first buying it, you're gonna pay more for the mortgage because you get a owner-occupied mortgage, remember that one? And it's always cheaper than any other mortgage. If it ain't your personal residence and you ain't occupying it, you can't get an owner-occupied loan. Additionally, when the property goes into the LLC or the corporation, the insurance is going to go up substantially in many, many cases. Uh, if you just keep it in your name and you kind of forget to tell the insurance company that you put it into the LLC, well, you might not have insurance because they have insured the risk of a personal residence, not the risk of a commercial property. And once that personal residence goes into the LLC or the corporation or whatever it is, you now have a commercial piece of property, not a residential piece of property. Big difference. Additionally, the taxes are going to be different because pretty much all states give personal residences a discount on their property taxes. Uh, in states where you don't have income taxes and they rely on property taxes, that's significant. Uh, and in all states, it's significant. But it's really significant in those other states. 
So the taxes are an issue. The insurance is an issue. The uh, homestead, the mortgages, the due on sale clauses, uh, the tax aspects, all of these things go out the window or change substantially once you move it from you and your personal residence into the entity. I don't think you really want to do it. Lee Phillips talking about maybe not putting your personal residence into an LLC or another entity.